Oops. Welcome to another Writerly Witterings and clear load of the turn of the rabbit. This time we're talking about something completely different. No, we're not talking about the same things. Blood on the Sand! Look at this, isn't it pretty? Lovely book. Blood on the Sand, my second in the Hundred Years War trilogy. And this is from the end of the Battle of Cressy and what happened to the British Army, what they were doing after that. Um, Battle of Cressy, if you've read my book on Fields of Glory, you'll know that that book is pretty much following one vintain of men through the whole of that um, march and just following what the people were like, what sort of characters there would have been in the army and that sort of thing. With Blood on the Sand it's a bit more going into what other things were going on at the time. It was a really fascinating year that after the Battle of Cressy because you had the Scottish trying to invade the north of England, you had the French um, forming alliances with, for example, the Genoese and trying to attack all English shipping on the seas, you had um, the French king trying to raise the siege of Calais to save the town, all sorts of things going on over the year, really exciting times, and I've tried to create here an adventure story based around my Vintain again, but showing what sort of things would have been happening with the English soldiers at the time. Really good fun to write this one. Um, and in fact, I'm currently writing the follow-up to this, which is all about the Battle of Poitiers, which is jolly good fun. The nice thing is, I've never written a trilogy before, but this one, I always knew what it was I wanted to do with each of the three books going through. It makes it an awful lot easier to write the books when you know exactly the direction you're trying to take with them. Of course, the main characters in this are the same as before. You've got Beringer Fripper, who was the Vintner, then Grandas, who was the Sentinel, in charge of a hundred men, whereas Beringer was in charge of more or less a platoon of twenty. And then Sir John de Sully, fascinating character, um, who genuinely died well over a hundred years old, even though he fought his last battle, I think, when he was in his seventies, with um, the Black Prince down at Najera. Uh, it's been really good fun doing research about him, but um, if you want to find out more about Sir John de Sully, look it up. You'll probably find more about him in Crediton um, Church, because that's where his body was buried. And apart from that, this book comes out June the 6th. It is going to be very popular, clearly, because my books always are. So put in an order now. Don't forget... If you want, if you've got any ideas for books that you want me to talk about, to put a comment in at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, share this thing, and all that sort of stuff. But in the meantime, I hope you really want one of these books. If you want to buy a copy that's been signed by me, comment in the bottom because I will be checking it. And if you want copies that can be posted on, I'll be delighted to sign it and post it on for you. So there you go, brilliant book. Lovely bit of summer reading, ideal for the beach, obviously, if you go to the beach, but if you can't go away, it's very good to read at home as well, I find. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks very much and take care.